Hey there creepy peeps. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning. New year, new horror, kinda. This will be a little bit of a weird year, again, uh, but this time because we're getting all of these horror movies that we were supposed to get last year, so. So a lot of the new releases we're getting this year are technically like overdue new releases, but tradition bags that we make a video talking about are most anticipated for the new year. Before we get into all that though, I wanna say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for supporting my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. If you wanna find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. So just for funsies and a little bit of a cringe laugh, I went back and watched my most anticipated video for 2020. I'll link it up here if you wanna check that out. Surprisingly, which for whatever reason I didn't think was going to be the case, most of the movies on my list actually did come out in 2020. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more of movies we didn't end up getting. The few that we didn't actually get though that were on my list I'm still really excited for. Uh, things like Last Night in Soho, which we're finally kind of starting to get more information on. <laughs> I feel like for the longest time it was just like a huge mystery of like what this movie was really gonna be other than like the one sentence summary we had. Also Candyman, still really, really excited for that one. Luckily we got a trailer uh, before they decided to delay it, but. <laughs> Weirdly though, movies like A Quiet Place 2, um, like was my top three most anticipated for 2020 and I kind of lost the hype for that one. It's been so long that I'm just like not interested anymore. I'm obviously still gonna go see it, but I'm not, as excited as I was. I'm also now really excited to see Antlers. Kind of the opposite happened um, <laughs> from A Quiet Place 2. Uh, Antlers didn't make my list last year, uh, but the more I saw about it around the interwebs, like over the course of the year, the more excited I got for it. Still really excited for Saint Maud as well, although uh, people in other countries have gotten to see it already. What little feedback I've seen about it, I'm trying to avoid obviously any like real in-depth reviews because I don't want any uh, preconceived notions going in, but I'm glad that it's, it seems really positive, so I'm excited. Halloween Kills is a neutral for me. I'm obviously gonna go see it, just not chomping at the bit to see it. Same thing with the new Conjuring movie. <laughs> Although that one I think is less of like a neutral thing and more like I'm probably gonna end up hate watching it. <laughs> because I am very tired of the Conjuring franchise now. I feel like it's overstayed its welcome a little bit. I do really quick though wanna talk about some new, actual new movies, not overdue ones that I've seen floating around on the internet um, that I've read about and I'm excited for. So one of those movies is The Vigil, which I learned about from my last uh, Room Work magazine I got in the mail. So it's apparently about a young man who um, agrees to fulfill the duties of a shomer. Might be saying that wrong. It's a Jewish custom of looking after a dead body over the course of a night. Sounds simple, sounds creepy, which I love. Let's not make it too complicated. I'm here for it. It's supposed to come out February 26th, so. Fingers crossed it does. <laughs> next is Old, which is <laughs> apparently going to be the next new movie from M. Night Shyamalan. I love the name. It's weirdly funny to me. Just Old. All that I know about it is that it's based on a French graphic novel called Sandcastle, which I am definitely ordering right now so I can know the twist before the movie comes out. <laughs> Apparently have more reading to do this year too because Guillermo del Toro is releasing Nightmare Alley, which is based on a novel of the same name by William Lindsay Gresham and follows a manipulative carny who teams up with a dangerous psychiatrist to wreak havoc. We apparently are not gonna see this one till December though, so bummer. And now for some books I'm excited for this year. I thought I would throw that in there because I feel like I never really actually consciously look up new book releases for the year like I do for movies. I'll, I'll sit down in January and look up to see what movies are supposed to be coming out. I never really do that for books. So I thought I would do it this time and the hype is real. So first book I'm really excited for is the new Grady Hendrix because duh. If I wasn't such a hoe 
for Michael Doherty and also a lesbian, I would totally be a hoe for Grady Hendrix. All we know is the title of the book so far. It's called The Final Girl Support Group. And honestly, that's all I need to know. <laughs> I love it already. We're supposed to have it by July 13th. Then Stephen Graham Jones has got a new book coming out. It's called My Heart is a Chainsaw. Same. It apparently follows Jade, who has an encyclopedic knowledge of horror films and lives in a quickly gentrifying lake town. I imagine some scary stuff happens, but that's really all the plot we know so far. But I love it already. It comes out August 31st. On March 23rd, we're supposed to be getting The Lost Village by Camilla Sten. The blurb for this says, The Blair Witch Project meets Midsummer," which I don't really know how that's gonna work, but I love it already. March is apparently gonna rock our socks off book-wise because on the 30th of that month, we're supposed to be getting Goddess of Filth by V. Castro. I mean, I love it already from the title alone. So nice of somebody to write a book about me. I wish they had told me first. The blurb from the book says, Five of us sat in a circle doing our best to emulate the girls in the craft, hoping to unleash some power to take us all away from our home to the place of our dreams. But we weren't witches. We were five Chicanas living in San Antonio, Texas, one year out of high school. I love it. Okay. And then finally, on April 13th, we're supposed to have a new YA thriller called The Mary Shelley Club. Uh, they referenced the movie Scream in the blurb, so it's like, I mean, I stopped there, sold. Apparently, it's about a secret society at a prep school called the Mary Shelley Club who are obsessed with scaring people with pranks. I imagine a prank will go awry, people will die. I'm here for it. So that's all I have for you for this video. It was kind of all over the place. So uh, if you managed to get through this whole video, thank you, I appreciate it. Please let me know in the comment section what movies and books you're most excited for this year. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know what videos you wanna see more of. Uh, and subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post two new videos a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I'll see you next week with a new video. Until then, stay strange. Bye.